The word gooning has spread like wildfire on the internet and has become quite hard to escape. If you don't know what gooning is, it's actually the act of masturbating without orgasm, which is supposed to lead to a sort of pleasure trance. This topic is quite taboo, so people are hesitant to discuss it. You might not even realize how this topic affects you, largely due to the lack of available resources. That's why we want to raise awareness by creating this video. With more insights, we hope to empower viewers to make more informed decisions. To learn more about this, let's take a look at what gooning does to your brain. What is it supposed to do? Despite being a big part of 2024, the term isn't that new. The main purpose of gooning is to enter the so-called pleasure trance. This is the main purpose of gooning. According to an essay on solo and auto sexuality published in 2020, gooning is that point of pure sexual ecstasy dragged out over a long time. The feeling is extended through the use of edging. In essence, you would masturbate until you're about to reach orgasm and slow down to stop yourself from finishing. Do this for long enough and you'll feel yourself enter a trance or mental blankness. But does this actually work? And can that be good for you? What does it actually do? Impressions are mixed on whether or not that state of sexual euphoria is real. Perhaps there's a placebo effect happening where the expectation of an orgasm allows you to be more open to entering a sort of trance. Those who have gooned or edged tend to agree that that state of euphoria or hypnosis isn't real or is at least greatly exaggerated. In reality, gooning is just an extended session of edging. So we can break gooning down into two characteristics that work together in order to get a better understanding of what it's doing to your brain. The first characteristic is short-term semen retention, which isn't unhealthy, but is unlikely to provide the long-term benefits of semen retention, like less stress and more energy, because in this context, it's only done in service of a greater orgasm later on. The second is compulsive masturbation, which carries implications for what it can do to your brain. What does this do to your psychology? Edging involves holding off on orgasm so you can have a more powerful orgasm when you eventually do. While there are benefits to masturbation and edging is fairly common practice, using it to constantly seek greater and greater orgasms like you theoretically would by gooning could indicate excessive masturbation. Psychologists Wiebke Dreymeyer and colleagues identify excessive masturbation as a hypersexual behavior. This makes sense considering that the act of gooning involves dedicating a long period of time to masturbation and pornography consumption. Treating masturbation and porn consumption like a hobby that you dedicate exorbitant time and even money to puts you dangerously close to or within the realm of being hypersexual. If your porn and masturbation habits are taking time and attention away from other more important things, you may have a problem. This intense focus on porn and masturbation can affect you in many different ways. Psychological dependence is when you rely on a substance so much that you need it just to get through the day. So if you can't go a day without watching porn or masturbating, it's likely you have a psychological dependence on it. As any addict would know, it takes more and more stimulation to achieve the same high. When we apply this idea to gooning, which takes this overstimulation to the extreme, the potential damage to the pleasure sensors in the brain is greatly increased. Gooning can even be a symptom of a psychological dependence on masturbation as people try to explore ways to get more pleasure out of masturbation. But there are other problems that arise as a result of those pleasure systems getting fried. As silly as the idea of gooning might seem to most people, especially because to most people it's just a meme, there are behaviors that might look familiar. That's why it's important that we open up a conversation about these things. Relationships and pleasure changes. If you are consistently training your brain to expect more and more stimulation to reach orgasm, the actual act of sex could become less satisfying. 
the comparative lack of stimulation that comes from sex compared to gooning could lead to erectile dysfunction and relationship dissatisfaction. It can also lead to hypersexuality or can be a symptom of hypersexuality. All of this together can affect your mood, in extreme cases, making you more likely to cheat on your partner and lead to sexual dysfunction. It should be noted that according to psychologist and sex therapist, Dr. Lori Lorenz, edging can actually treat erectile dysfunction and help people explore sexual interest by slowing things down. But these benefits only affect a few special cases. Gooning is an extreme form of self-pleasuring. So it may be beneficial to take a look at your own habits to see if there's anything that could be negatively affecting your mental health or relationships. Research on the actual act of gooning is limited. So we have to go off what we know about hypersexuality and excessive masturbation. If you're going to goon, goon cautiously and be mindful of the potential side effects. Do you think gooning is something that researchers should start taking seriously? Or is it just a fad and a meme that no one is really serious about? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by leaving a like and subscribing to Psych2Go for more videos kinda like this.